so I'm trying to make this a short read, like the previous one, but this on this one the companion came out, so for singles, but also for those who are in union, and I'm also hearing it's complicated. So we've got betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. So for somebody here, and this could be what you're healing from as well, a past toxic relationship that you may have felt like you lost part of your identity in order to, you know, you lost part of yourself in order trying to please somebody else. Um, when we're with narcissistic people, narcissistic lying manipulative people, um, those are like a form of energy vampires as well. So it's like this person could have worried the crap out of you, really sucked the life out of you. Okay, we're moving on, but also we've got loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. For those of you in union, your person, you might be going through a cycle of worrying about whether they're stepping out on you, if they're seeing somebody, if they're thinking about wanting to go see somebody else, but this is saying they're very loyal to you, okay? It's a cycle, it's a cycle. Okay, so there's a few different decks here that want to come out as well. regarding the situation whoa okay walk away it's a toxic situation so for some of you you're in union with a toxic person already um this is your go ahead like it's okay to walk away but also for somebody here who's maybe in reflecting on that toxic past relationship or even still in union you know it's different for everybody don't judge don't judge yourself too harshly don't judge the other person too harshly Sometimes love hurts. Reach out to me, please. So if you're thinking about reaching out to somebody, maybe apologizing to somebody or letting somebody know how you felt about a situation, it says, yeah, it's okay to reach out, okay? The struggle is real and we both paid the price. So for somebody here, you're getting the karmic justice as well if you were done dirty in a past relationship and it doesn't even have to be romantic wise this could be from a friend a family relative they want to communicate their feelings but don't know how so this is for somebody who's in union already with the unselfishness and then loyalty it's like there's stuff on your partner's mind but they and they want to talk about it they just don't know how to approach or how to even start or maybe this is you with them you know maybe you're wanting to communicate your feelings but you're just not sure on how or where to start like how to even put it in words. There's a karmic relationship. 303 on the timer as I look over. I'm not the same person I was. I'm better. And for some, these people are in the process of bettering themselves. We're all on this healing journey, okay? Love in spite of it all. On the bottom of the deck, I have I forgive you, it's okay. So reach out to me please I forgive you it's okay like maybe you just need to do this to help you feel better about something okay and we're gonna reach over here into the fairy deck magical gateway it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step boldly forward without looking back so stepping boldly forward in communication with those you're in union with stepping boldly forward away from those with the, away from this toxic situation stepping boldly forward to something bigger and brighter for your future this is needed at this time whatever healing that's needing to take place in your life it is needed at this time so you can so more doors can open for you okay because your feelings are real and worth exploring and an angel message vacuum away fear. Call upon Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. So there might be some fear about uh, walking away from the toxic situation. There might be some fear about reaching out to that previous person, you know. Sometimes love hurts. It's okay to be compassionate and kind and considerate towards those. It's also okay towards those who need forgiving, but it's also okay to forgive those without needing any acceptance or acknowledgement from them okay you can forgive them without having to reach out um so if this this is resonating for somebody who's 
not like, oh, I don't want to forgive because that means I have to reach out and tell them I forgive them. That's not the case here. As long as you forgive them in your heart and then it'll be easier for you. You don't have to reach out to that person, okay? But for some, communication is the key point in any of what's going on in these deciding factors for you. And it's going to help heal yourself. Like I said, it's helping to open more doors. It's bringing more light into your life as well. New opportunities, magical blessings is what I heard. And it's going to help bring in the more joy around you. And they want the last card as well, responsibilities. So even though that being said, maybe you feel like, I don't want to walk away from this person because I'm going to have more responsibility on my shoulders, but that's what's needed for you at this time. It's taking responsibility, owning up to something, or just being okay with more responsibility. Laughing at your demons. So don't let those demons, those inner demons that call you, call you out and make you feel fearful about doing something, whatever it is, don't let them do that. Just laugh at them and move on. Continue doing what you're wanting to do here. Final message, correct your mistakes. Wow. Love and light.